Y'all, it's so weird seeing Galaxy's Edge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you see it? <laughs> okay, now I'm missing the parks. I know it's been a minute on here, but that's why I always tell y'all, please follow me on Instagram because your girl has been very active on the IG, but I missed you guys in the YouTube world, and look, y'all, I really tried, look, y'all know a lot of things have been happening, Disney was supposed to open, it's not going to open anymore, so they opened Downtown Disney, and you guys, I went on the first day trying to get some content for y'all, and it was an epic fail. Take a look at my Instagram stories. Hey y'all, so I'm in the car, I'm trying to get to this downtown Disney. I got off the freeway at 9.20. It is 10.26. Um, I'm actually kind of irritated because we're supposed to park in Simba and I don't know if like all of us just don't know where it is, but there's obviously a line of cars so you're gonna follow the line of cars. And it literally just took us in a complete circle. So, I don't know what's going on um, because there are definitely like cast members outside directing you and they're directing you to the same spot you were at 30 minutes ago. So I'm very irritated. Uh, may have to come back and do this vlog another day because this ain't it, y'all. Like I'm literally passing Paradise Pier Hotel again. So I think what's worse is that I think this is the parking structure and there are a ton of cars in there. So so how do they get in? Because it's not just me. It's like a whole gang of us that like literally made a complete circle. Like a hundred plus cars so how do these other ones get in y'all like <laughs> i am getting rise of the resistance feels right now okay that type of anxiety is happening i mean i already shouldn't be here because of corona and no and nobody's making it easier y'all and i came prepared i'm wearing two masks i'm wearing gloves i'm wearing glasses i got on a beanie it's 80 degrees outside but i can't get in i don't understand I don't understand. And then I just looked at a video on Instagram and people are going crazy already in World of Disney. So they're not even going to have any merch. I think this is a wrap. I feel like this is a sign from the universe and from God saying go home sis because from what it looks like from these videos, there's no social distancing in the store and people are grabbing, grabbing, grabbing 65 um, anniversary merch. And I don't want to get like, I don't want to get into anything because I don't want anybody near me like y'all talk about six feet. I need 12. You know what, y'all? It honestly might be a wrap. And I don't even care if I get the merch or not. Like, at this point, and today's my niece's birthday. Like, and I'm also supposed to be working from home. Well, these people already got their stuff, okay? But they clearly live across the street. We, this is, this is part two. This is where I was. We all going back to the same spot. Nobody else is pissed in these cars besides me. Maybe we should be going down there. I don't know if the lot is full and nobody told. It's like... I don't know if, every, if all the cast members are like up by World of Disney or whatever, but like nobody's down here really directing you for parking. So I'm going to try again next week. Um, this is the Lord telling me to go home. Don't catch this thing. Because with all these people, one of them, ha with the numbers, somebody has it. So I don't trust it. I'm going home. That's it. I'm irritated. Um, love you guys. A hot mess, right? <laughs> Y'all, I was so mad. And then what made it even worse is like, I knew people that were there that got in. And then people said they went later in the day and it was completely calm. There was, nobody was gathering. They restocked the merchandise. Uh, there weren't any lines. So I'm just like, you know what? I, I, I don't know y'all, but I didn't get to get in the first day. I am gonna try again to go probably next week in a couple of days, um, just to be there you guys and just to show y'all. And look, it's not to pressure you guys to go outside. Please stay home. I honestly feel more comfortable at home. I was just going to show you guys and it was a fail. So maybe the universe was protecting me. I don't know. But uh, I am gonna try again you guys. But look, since I didn't get in, why don't we just make something? Let's make the gray stuff. I have been meaning to make this for a long time, you guys. They released the recipe like a month and a half ago, but every time I go to make it, the Oreos are missing from my house. 
because quarantine with little ones. So I finally have some Oreos. We're gonna make the gray stuff. Let's see if the recipe is really good for making it at home. All right, you guys, let's do this. All right, friends, so let's go over what you need and kind of how to make it. So the first thing you're gonna do, you need milk, cold milk, and uh, vanilla instant pudding. So you're gonna mix these two together. The ingredients are all online as far, oh, actually, I'm gonna put it below the measurements. Um, but you're gonna mix these two and leave it refrigerated for two hours. Then you're going to crush up 15 Oreos, which I'm glad I'm making it now because it kind of feels a little bit empty. Uh, so I hope I have 15 in here. But you're gonna crush up 15 Oreos and then you're gonna add that to the mixture once you take it out with the vanilla and milk. And you're gonna add the chocolate, instant pudding, and then mix that in. And then you're gonna fold in some whipped cream. This kind of whipped cream, guys, that you can find in the freezer section at your grocery store. And then that is going to be your gray stuff. You're gonna leave it in the refrigerator for an hour, let it firm up, and then you're just gonna, I mean, you could scoop it out, you could do whatever you want. Uh, you're probably gonna wanna put it in a piping bag. A lot of people put it on top of cookies, which I have here. I think I have some brownies, too. I might make it and top it on top of the brownies. I don't know, let's just see how the gray stuff comes out. Guys, it looks so good, but now I'm going to put them on top of brownies. Y'all, it looks a mess, but it's delicious. I put some berries in there, and you can also put some ice cream. It is falling because it's been out of the fridge for a little bit, y'all, but this is our great stuff. So obviously, guys, I couldn't wait. So good. Um, uh, I like it. <laughs> you guys, you see you can put it on a couple of things, um, brownies, uh, anything else you guys wanna put on the cookies. Uh, it's a really cute recipe and super, super easy to make, y'all. So, I hope you enjoy. More vlogs are coming. Please check me out on Instagram, you guys. There's so much going on over there. Everything is at Eat Magic, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!